Hi everybody! Today we are going to make Bude Jjigae. A lot of people requested this recipe over the years. Bude means army base. Jjigae is a stew. So we are going to make army base stew. I had never tasted Bude Jjigae. So many of my readers requested and then I was so curious about this dish and then when I visited Korea and then I tasted in several restaurants and tasted. And also when I came back and in New York some restaurants serve this budejjigae I tasted. Really popular dish everywhere. Always a restaurant, famous restaurant for budejjigae packed with people. Wow, there must be a reason why they like it. Actually, like the spam sliced really thinny, you know, spam, you know, nobody will think that this is very appealing. But when it cooked with the kimchi and spicy seasoning paste, sizzling, bubbling kind of stew, really tasty. It go well together, and especially when you eat with rice. So let's start to make delicious stock using two dried shiitake mushrooms and large size dried anchovies. Remove the heads and remove guts. It's a kind of black things. Remove this. And very clean and Put it in this strainer. So eight large size dried anchovies in the strainer. Let's put it here. This is dried kelp. It's called dashima in Korean. Korean grocery store you can buy. Always I have at home. Because whenever I make some stock, I always use So like this, and then I'm going to cut it this around this size. And then put it. Close the lid and boil. Over medium high heat, I'm going to boil this in my stock for 25 minutes. While we are boiling this stock, let's prepare some other stuff. This is noodles called dangmyeon, sweet potato starch noodles. Some people call this a glass noodle because it's translucent, very hard. I'm going to use around two ounces. Let's soak in cold water. Then let's make a seasoning paste. Seasoning paste, you know, it has to be spicy. Six garlic cloves. I just chose a large garlic cloves and clean. Hot pepper paste, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons, hot pepper flakes. Flakes. Two tablespoons, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon soy sauce, about two tablespoons water. So we make a seasoning paste. This is a lot of garlicky and salty and sweet. That's spicy also. Very good. Very good spicy. And then I'm going to use some pork belly. Cut into bite-sized pieces. Stock is really boiling, and then I see that a lot of bubbles are coming up, and they maybe boil over. So in that case, just uh, you open this uh, like half, right? And then still medium-high heat, let it cook until fully cooked 25 minutes. I'm going to add this pork to my boiling stock. We are going to cook this pork with this boiling stock 10 more minutes from now. So my stock is done. Oh my God, so quiet. Good. Babies. Well, look at this kelp is really huge. Eh? It was small. So two shiitake mushrooms and pork. 
mushrooms let it cool down and this is pork we have this delicious stock add one teaspoon of salt so let it cool here so pork actually really careful looks good slice it thinly and then stir fry with the soy sauce and a little bit sugar and garlic it will be a good side dish so don't throw them away and then later use i prepare my kimchi tongbaechu kimchi here we are going to use only half a cup my shallow pot this pot usually when you go to korean restaurant they serve this kind of pot because you can see the whole all ingredients inside easily, not deep part, right? A little bit cabbage. This is going to be around one cup. And then onion. This is a one third cup onion. I use a really huge green onion, but you can use two small green onions. Let's add this is a pork already cooked. Pork and these mushrooms. I use all this stem too. Mushrooms. I said too. Okay. And then I'm going to add kimchi. Just half a cup I'm going to use. Okay, this amount. Let's add our spicy seasoning paste. This is Polish sausage. I use this, I found it really tasty when it's cooked in the stew. So I'm going to use this, yeah. This is a four ounce. Spam, I'm going to use. Okay, thin slice. Let's use just one third. So this amount to save this for later use. The ham sausage and tofu and cheese and this is rice cake, rice cake and then the noodles we are soaking right now and then beans, huge amount, right? So we just add a little by little. And this sausage, rice cake. and tofu we are going to use one quarter only and this baked beans pork and beans you can choose either one this is the vegetarian beans so with this kind of seasoning mixture it is I will use around a quarter cup with uh, some juice. Yeah. Cheese. Just one sliced cheese. And then noodles. This is a Korean ramen. So ramen for this half. Half. This is noodles with soaked potato starch noodles. Huge, eh? You can use uh, watercress or you can use uh, any, like even spinach. Uh, this is a radish sprout. Okay. There you go. So let's pretend that this is your table, large table, your guest is sitting while you guys are talking and it's going to cook.
you should not be too filled, right? In that case, you know, maybe boil over. And then the leftover, just uh, transfer to the another bowl, nice bowl. And then with your ladle. So while you are cooking, usually like a sizzling. As this broth reduces, add some more into this stock. Just over high heat, you know, medium high heat. Usually gas stove is a very strong flame. So just heat it up. And then you guys can drink, talking, waiting until this is cooked. I made my rice. And also, when you eat this, be sure to prepare the individual bowl. It's bubbling over, turn down the heat, control the, your heat. So from now, you guys can, you know, sitting around so you can taste some. Oh, this is sausage. Good. <laughs> Nine, ten minutes. After that, you just mix this with your tongs, like this. Time to eat! So with this broth. So always add, right? And you can turn it up. And then first, always my rice. Mm. I know that when you taste one bite, you know that why people love this budetjigae. Because this stew has all kinds of stuff. I love these noodles also, you know, the starch noodles and even ramen. So while you are cooking and eating, so you have a really fun. Everybody sitting at the table and then you cook together and then eating and drinking. The broth is more and more delicious. We made Pude Jige Army Base Stew. So enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.